Good day everyone. My topic for today is pole leakage flux. Una sa lahat, alamin muna natin kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng useful flux or mutual flux at saka pole leakage flux. So, the useful flux is that flux which coming from the main poles crosses the air gap and enters the armature. While some of the field flux passes directly between the poles, without crossing the air gap are called the pole leakage flux. So, ang useful flux daw po ay flux na kakalagpas sa air gap at nakakapasok sa armature at sumusunod sa direct path tapos nagsisirculate siya sa iron ring. While pole leakage flux naman daw po, ito yung mga flux na hindi nakakalagpas sa air gap tapos lumalabas siya lumalabas sa direct path at makikita rin siya sa gilid ng pole kaya tinawag siyang pole leakage flux makikita yung mamaya dito sa diagram na nakapresent dito wait lang kayo next is the magnitude of the pole leakage flux is expressed by the pole leakage factor or coefficient which is leakage coefficient or C sub L is equal to total flux all over useful flux since ang total flux po is equal to useful flux plus leakage flux ang magiging formula natin is useful flux plus to, ay, pole leakage flux all over useful flux. So, yun. Next is, ito yung diagram. Meron tayo ditong, ano, meron tayo ditong dalawang machine na nakapresent. Unahin natin itong DC machine. Since may mga label naman siya, madali na siyang maintindihan. So, yun nga, yung bilog sa gitna, yun yung armature. Tapos, yung dalawang kamay na parang nakapokus sa armature, siya yung ano yung poles na tinatawag. So ang leakage flux or pole leakage flux daw po ay yung mga broken line na nakikita natin sa gilid ng poles. Ito yung poles, ayan. Yun yung mga broken line. Tapos yung useful flux naman or mutual flux, yung broken line na nakapasok dito sa loob ng bilog. Ayan. Ang air gap is yung space between poles and armature. Yung direct path na tinatawag natin, itong diadaanan ng useful flux. While for synchronous machine naman, say may idea lang siya, may dalawang poles, tapos may leakage flux sa gitna, may air gap na dinaanan ng useful flux, tapos nakapasok sa armature yung useful flux, tapos nag-ikot siya ulit. Parang ganun. Yun na yung idea ng pole leakage flux. Yung leakage flux na nandito sa gilid ng pole. Next is, ito, parehas lang na diagram, pero mas detailed lang siya. So, ayun nga, useful flux is equals to mutual flux din. Same lang siya. Next is, this coefficient varies from 1.1 to 1.4. The pole leakage is greater for large load than for small loads. And is larger for low lagging PFs or pitch factors than for high PFs or pitch factors. So, ayun nga, ang coefficient ay nag-vary sa 1.1 to 1.4. Mas, ma mas malaki siya sa larger loads, tapos maliit siya sa lower, eh, small loads. Tapos, next, this coefficient depends on upon design and varies as mentioned above or mentioned before. Unfortunately, it is not a constant for a given machine that varies with the load. So, yun nga, nakadepende ang coefficient sa load. Since dun nga sa kabila, sabi baga, larger loads, mas larger yung leakage. So, yun. Yun lang po. Thank you and good day.